mashed potatoes are super simple. I like these golden potatoes. They're small, they're buttery, without any butter. They're fantastic. You can use any potato you like. I like these little golden ones. Get yourself about two and a half pounds of them. You can double it if you need a bigger recipe because you got more people, but two and a half pounds feeds my family of four just fine. Peel them, chunk them up into roughly the same size. Do your best, doesn't have to be perfect. Get yourself a nice heavy bottomed pot. Pop them in there, cover them with some water. And we're gonna cook these for, I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes, just until they are fork tender. Don't go by time, go by tenderness of the potato. All that means is when you take the potato, push your fork down into it, it mashes nicely. Now, I happen to be quite lucky and have some fresh herbs behind me that I grow. I have some basil, basil, basil. I've been watching a lot of British shows, basil. Some basil, some nice, ah. I have some nice fresh basil and some rosemary. We're gonna use this in our milk and cream mixture for the potatoes. If you don't have that available to you, you can use dried spices. They'll work just as fine. It just won't be as good. Sorry. Are you enjoying this video? If so, there are a few super simple things you can do to help that out. Subscribe if you're not already, hit that like button, and do the bell. Thanks. Once your potatoes are nice and fork tender and they break apart easily with the push of a fork, remove them from the pot, drain the water, and let's move on to the next step. Add in a half a cup of heavy cream, a half a cup of milk, two tablespoons of minced garlic, a tablespoon each of rosemary and basil, and a whole stick of butter. Now we're gonna let this simmer for three or four minutes just to really let those herbs and the garlic infuse into that milk. Trust me, it makes a difference. Now that that's simmered for a few minutes, we can go ahead and just uh, turn off the heat and add in our wonderful potatoes. Grab yourself a potato masher and get to work. Don't worry if it feels soupy, it will thicken up as you go. Last steps are seasoning. I like to add about two tablespoons Parmesan cheese, the real stuff. Salt and pepper to taste. Standard basic table salt. Oh, those are fantastic. You get the, the garlic coming through, you get the herbs. They're smashed and creamy, but you still get some chunks of mashed potatoes. They're not like a whipped potato. Actually kind of prefer that texture on a potato. I have to go for a second bite. Mm. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, maybe do the likey subscribe stuff. That would be great. Consider watching one of these other videos. They're pretty fantastic. At least I think they are. I think they are because I made them. So maybe consider watching them. If not, I don't know, go, go do something else. But have a great day. All right, bye.